Is that who I think it is? We have yet to see this character on this playthrough. This is exciting, boys and girls. I hope you're ready. It's Tess! Oh, I was sure that I would be alone in so remote a place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. That there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. No worries. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Koss. I'm a bard traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Without further ado, he breaks the rock that served to bind above the Tapiris Bay. On wings of cloth and wood entwined, he lands on the altar to open the way. Bravissimo. The tempestuous bay from the song could be this very bay. But what sort of winds are made of cloth and wood? It's a juicy riddle, but one I may never puzzle out. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. You have to sing everything Cass says. He's a singy boy. He's a bard. Let's get rebarded in ha. Let's get rebarded in here. So... It seems like we gotta use our sailcloth. Let's make some cryonis blocks. That's not gonna do. <laughs> Cass is a sweet baby. He's so cute. I'm so mad that they never put him in Hyrule Warriors. I thought that was a shame. He's like the biggest main character that wasn't included in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I still don't think I ever played the second... DLC pack that came out for Age of Calamity. I need to eventually get around to doing that. Someday. Is this the crab gang? Why are there so many crabs in here? At first I thought that said imitation crab. And I was like, wait, how is a real crab an imitation crab? How does that work? He wouldn't have been alive, no. Well, half the characters wouldn't have been alive. That's almost all the characters travel through time in Age of Calamity. Like, that's the whole point. How come Cass couldn't travel through time? Is he not good enough? Cass deserves to be a time traveler. If I, I mean, if I think he deserves to be a time traveler, he does. Am I supposed to, like, blow up some rocks? He wasn't connected to the heroes like the future other characters were. What an absolute shame. Cass deserves better than this. He should be more networked. And the winds are going absolutely crazy out here. Whoa, look at this. Look at this wind. It's going wild, wild. I think I need to break this clump of rocks, if it's possible. How did that now work? Yeah, if I remember correctly, the big, like, the way all the characters connect in Age of Calamity is they end up, like, finding a way to get all the champions to go back through time, and they try to go back through time and stop Ganon from attacking Hyrule in the first place. It's like the best way to save the land is to prevent the land from ever getting attacked to begin with is their approach. Which I think is a pretty good way to approach it, especially since time travel exists in Zelda games. I feel like they should definitely use it. Wait, is this it? Do I take this wind all the way through to the other island? Oh no, that close. 
think we need a bit more wind somewhere. Did it really start raining again? Can the rain chill for just like a bit? Or is that the reason we have so many crazy winds in the freaking first place? Yeah, I don't think Beetle was an Age of Calamity either. Am I going to eventually have to... Do I also need a 100% Let's Play Age of Calamity before Breath of the Wild 2 comes out? <laughs> Gotta do both games. Age of Calamity, I don't know if that would be a fun game to Let's Play. It's kind of a fun game to play, but overall, it's a bit repetitive gameplay-wise, so I don't know if it'd be fun to watch by any means. Not as many good moments as this game has. Ah. That was a great hit. Here, can I climb up this? The rain stopped again, thankfully. This true, Age of Calamity doesn't take nearly as long to 100%. Or to even, like, to beat doesn't even take that long, honestly. To 100% it doesn't take that long either. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. His face is like a gross looking heart. It's an edgy heart. Not as edgy as the Tears of the Kingdom, though. I like the story in Age of Calamity more than Breath of the Wilds. I like the gameplay of Breath of the Wilds more than Age of Calamity. But Age of Calamity is great because there's so many characters you can play as, so even though it is kind of a repetitive gameplay style, it doesn't feel too bad. Okay, I need to see my quests again. Master of the wind. He breaks the rock that serves to bind above the tempestuous bay. What is that? Above the tempestuous bay. On wing of cloth and wood entwined, he land on the altar to open the way. Do I have to start from a very specific spot? We still don't have the wind going over the altar, so I don't think we've fully done it yet. Is there another rock to break somewhere? Unless... Okay, we go through here. Oh! There's another thing that needs to be blown up right here. Okay, bomb arrow is the way to go. Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't work. Ah. Uh. Hey, what? I thought I killed you. I swear. If I fall in the water one more time, you're done. <laughs> Can't believe I had to get this close to finish you off. Here, we can just do this. No, we can't. <laughs> nice. Got him. Is that going to do the trick? Is there enough airflow coming through now? Yeah, there is. So where's the starting point for this? It's ready. Oh, it's turned on. We turned it on just a little bit. Now we gotta go finish the job. Oh, that almost recoiled and hit me. That feels like it should be far enough. It's like the furthest distance I could possibly fly. Come on. Was that it? Oh, okay, at first I thought that meant I lost. It like deactivated and I was so sad at first. Just pops from underground. No resistance or anything. Master of the Wind. That should have been the name of the new Zelda game. I guess that's the same thing as Wind Waker. Shy Yoda. Yoda is not shy. He does talk backwards, though. 
Or sometimes they'll just put easier puzzles than the ones where you have to solve puzzles to get inside. I oh, know. It's just a huge reward shrine. Shy Yoda was just too shy to fully finish out the puzzle down here. So some people did it above ground for him. Ooh, great flame blade. That's a sick prize. I mess with that. That's all we got. This guy just has his hands just like casually limped in front of himself. I think he might actually be in a coma. <laughs> this is the first monk that didn't survive the 100 years. This was just a skeleton. Rumor has it, this game has rumors. Forest spirits called Koroks like to hide in unexpected spots. No way, no. There's Koroks in this game? No. Well, we finished this whole entire section down here. Well, this, this is a huge section that was filled up for the puzzle for this shrine. Wait, have I taken pictures of these guys yet? I have. I haven't taken a picture of Kisi yet, though, apparently. I got a picture of Kis butts. That's all we need. I love me some fried Kis butt. Whoa. Why? How did one arrow do that? No, you're not gonna shoot me with another freaking. Stop it! Stop it! You freaking kook. Okay, no. <laughs> what am I gonna eat? Everything's gonna be a waste. Okay, whatever. Am I heading to the edge? Yeah, I wanna see what's at the end of this. This peninsula. I wanna get to the Tarm Point. I feel like Winter Island has to have something on it. My name is Nick, so I must give gifts and protect prostitutes or something. Uh, what's the correlation between Nick's protecting prostitutes? That one went over my head. Both the king and queen are dead in this game, in most games, and Zelda is the only child. Yeah, it's because Zelda is a big baby and every time someone gives birth to her, it kills the mother. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh when I say that. It's not funny, but what happens? Zelda has a big head. That's what it is. <gasps> is this our first Hinox? I think it is. Blue Hinoxes are super strong, aren't they? Okay, also need to get a self-portrait with this fire sword equipped. Gotta get the, the angle, there we go. The Great Flame Blade. I don't know if I can take him on right now. I guess I can give it a chance. But does he just wake up like that? He's a pretty light sleeper. What in the world? He literally kicked me as he was waking up. That was ridiculous. Ah! Take him out, take him out. Oh, what is that? What is that? Royal Broadsword, let's freaking go. Wait, he has just like weapons attached to him? That actually comes in handy. Ah, I feel bad shooting him in the eye like that. That's just like the meanest thing to do. What? He stomped me out instantly. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna start off by shooting his eye. I don't know if that helps anything. Let's burn off his shin guards though. It's awesome that you can burn them off. Okay, he's dumb at first. He doesn't protect the eye, which is good. <laughs> the fact that you can burn the shin guards off is pretty hilarious. Okay, we do gotta be careful because Oh, he has to like extinguish the fires on his shins. That's a funny detail as well. Check it out. The game has all the details. Oh wait, get away from his foot. Get away from the feet. The 
feet are dangerous. Okay, I think at the halfway point he starts protecting his eyeball. So it's not gonna remain this easy. Sometimes when people <laughs> write AOC to represent Age of Calamity in the comment section, I think they're talking about that one politician, Alexandria Cortez. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, why is she being talked about right now? Oh, that's what you get for hurting with Mother Nature. No. He moves around so much. Oh. No, back up. Oh my gosh. Isn't Color Splash the one for Switch? Or is Color Splash the Wii U one? Ah, that's what it is, okay. There we go, finally freaking got him. 20 arrows later. All right, first Hinox bites the mother flipping dust. It like turns into sludge. Ooh, Hinox tooth. We can go say hi to the tooth fairy. Oh, and the toenail fairy. Toenail fairy has a foot fetish, so they pay top dollar. Ooh, and guts, yeah. I appreciate all the roasted fish though. That's actually super helpful. It's a lot of healing. Do we get anything from beating all the Hinoxes? Hinoxes stay dead, don't they? Like, I don't think they respawn at any point. Not from what I know anyways. Was that really hidden? That didn't feel hidden. They do respawn. Uh, I guess they're good sources of materials though, so it's kind of a good thing. Everything respawns except for blights. Duly noted. Can we kill the blood moon? <laughs> that would actually be a great ending to the game if there was a way to like stop the blood moon and stop enemies from respawning. So at the end of the game, you could clean all of the enemies out of Hyrule and make it like the safest place ever. That'd be a really fun way to give you some good end game content. Just think about it. If that was something you could do at the very end of the game, people would like literally play and sweep through the whole entire land, killing every single enemy. And what if it like kept track and was like, all right, you've killed 99% of the enemies. And so you're like looking around for the last enemy and you're like, no, he's hiding somewhere. Oh no, is that another Lionel? I think that's a strong one too. A blue maned. What about the Gucci maned Lionel? Okay, I don't think that's gonna be happening right now. Ah. <laughs> uh, is there anything past him? Did he notice me? Nah, he did not. Will I ever cosplay as Link? I would love to someday. I just would need the money to get the costume. I never, like, if I was to cosplay Link, I would only do it well. Like, I only want to cosplay as Link if I can afford, like, a high-quality costume of some sort. Not even, like, high-quality costume, but just... Something that does it justice. I don't want to buy like a Halloween costume or something. Ooh, gold rupee. I like how we can get the prize without even defeating the Lionel. Wow, 600, jeez. Doesn't even feel like we deserve that since we didn't kill the Lionel, but it's okay. But yeah, someday once I have the money, I am going to make the most amazing Link cosplay ever and then wear it for some music videos for 
some of the Zelda rap songs that I made. That's pretty much the goal. In the future, I would love to make some high quality Zelda rap music videos instead of like just the songs. But like I said, I only want to do it if I can fund it and do it right. So I'm waiting patiently until I have, until that opportunity arises, which it will eventually. Eventually, all the correct opportunities will align and that will happen. Also, yeah, I did the Gerudo cosplay. That was a Gerudo Link cosplay. So technically I have cosplayed as Link, but not as the traditional Link. It's a bit different, so. Let's plop it up. I saw another one down in the water. There's ocean treasure chests. What for? Can I even reach that far down? Can I Cryonis over there? What in the world? I can't believe this is even real, honestly. I'm still too far away from it? Am I supposed to use the raft? Maybe I'm like too far up in the air when I'm on Cryonis. No, I'm not. Is that Mapfish? I see a fish over there jumping out, just like Mapfish and Wind Waker. We have picked up a lot of weapons recently. I thought my inventory was closer to being full than it is. Yarhar, we got the booty. We plundered it from the bottom of the ocean. Easy, Korok. Lucky for you, Clover Korok. Okay, we need to go see Hetsu sometime soon. We're starting to save up quite a few seeds. At least enough seeds to get some inventory expansions. That'll be very appreciated.